Hey what's up guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another element of design related tutorial in this video i'll show you how you can create this kind of vertical menu area using element of pro version for this website by default it was showing a header like this so it was in top and showing horizontally but here i will show you how you can create a custom header vertically like this for this tutorial i am using elementor pro version and little bit of css code so if you like this and want to see this kind of valuable tutorial more give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here and like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel now let's go ahead and without any further ado let's get started first of all i am going to dashboard and then going to elementor and settings and from here i am going to enabling the flexbox container mode so going to experiments and if i scroll down here is options flexbox container and by default this is not active so i have already activate this and then save changes next i am going to create our custom header so for that going to templates and theme builder and now going to header going to add new and crossing this library and here going to add new container taking this first one vertical direction and here i'm making the height to full height so from mean height going to vh and making it to 100 and width i'm making it to 100 pixel so from pixel i'm making it to 100 and now going to style tab i'm changing the background color to a dark color so going to background type and select the background color to black now going to advance and from here position i am making it to fixed and z index i am making it to 10 so our header always will be in top of all of the section now going to the layout and here one more thing content width i am making it to full width and also width changing it to 100 so now it's only taking 100 pixel width from the left side and now i'm going to add our elements inside the header so click on this plus icon and taking site logo and also taking our menu taking this nav menu and here i have created one menu so it's showing here or if we have several menu then we can select it from here and now going to edit container going to items and here from justify content i'm selecting the space between now our elements is now showing in top and bottom area and going to advance adding some padding in top and bottom so making it to unlink and in top adding 30 in bottom 20 and now for the menu if i going to edit going to advance and going to custom css and now i want to change the text direction to vertically so for that i'm going to my website and here i have added some css code i'm going to copy this css and paste it here we can see our text is now showing vertically and from layout align self i am making it to center so it's now showing in center and also we can add some customization so from content first making the pointer i am making it to off and also going to change the color so going to style tab and text color making it to white and also we can change the color on hover i'm making it to light pink 
and also we can increase the font size making the text transform to uppercase and adding some letter spacing all right looks good and also for this logo going to style tab and changing the width i'm making it to 80 percent all right looks good and finally i'm fixing this header for responsive view so click on this responsive mode go to tablet from navigator from the left corner going to nav menu and content mobile breakpoint i'm making it for mobile only so for tablet will look the same as the desktop view so it's look good on tablet and going for the mobile so for mobile i'm changing the height for container so going to container going to layout and width vw i'm making it to 100 and height going to pixel and making it to 100 it's okay and going to items making the direction to row all right now our logo is showing left and menu is right then going to logo and style tab changing the width pixel i'm making to 60 alignment to left all right and for the logo toggle align right and also changing the icon color making the color to white here is the toggle button i'm changing the color to white and also when i click here it's showing the menu we can also change the drop down menu style so for content i'm making the mobile drop down to full width so now it's looking like this and also i'm changing the background color and text color so going to style tab from drop down changing the text color to white and background color to black and also on hover background color making it to dark or light dark all right looks good on phone also finally going to publish at condition it will work for the entire website and save and close so we are done and when i going to refresh our website we can see our header is showing in the left side and when i scroll down our header is fixed in left side and finally here one more thing we can see our content is hiding in the left side for this page so we can fix that from each of the page if i go to edit with elementor for this home page and from here for this page going to settings and going to advanced so from here we need to add some padding in left so it will work for the whole page here is no padding or margin option so i have to do it with the custom css i'm typing selector and curly bracket here i'm typing padding left and here our header width is 100 pixels so i'm adding the same number of padding in left and finally going to save it now if i refresh our page and here we can see the full view of this page all right that's all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.